Hello students, I am Arpita Paul and I am back again with a new video. Today you will learn operators in Java. Okay, so let's start the video. So first comes assignment operator. So what is an assignment operator? So basically assignment operator is used to assign value to a variable. We will use this operator to assign a value to a specific variable. Assignment operator is denoted by equals to sign. Assignment operator is binary operator which operates on two operands. Okay. So, assignment operator is a binary type operator because it requires minimum two operand at the same time. Okay. So, how it looks like? See one example. See here I have written int a equals to 10. So, this equals to sign is the assignment operator. And it is assigning the value 10 to the variable a. So, at a time it is using a and 10 both. That is why it is called binary operator. It is accessing two operands, the value and the variable together. Okay. Now, coming to the next operator that is arithmetic operator. So, what is an arithmetic operator? Arithmetic operators are used for arithmetic calculations only. Java supports five basic arithmetic operators. What are those? Let's see. See here the symbols, meaning and the examples. First one is plus sign which is called addition operator and it is used to add two numbers. Okay. Next one is minus sign which is called subtraction operator and it is used to subtract two values. Third one is asterisk and it is called multiplication operator and it is used to multiply two values. Next one is division operator and it is called division operator and it returns the quotient of one division. Next one is percentage sign but here it is called modular operator and which is used to return the remainder of one calculation. So, what is the basic difference between division operator and the modular operator? Division operator returns the quotient part and the modular operator returns the remainder part. Okay. So, these are the five basic arithmetic operators. Okay. So, the next one is relational operator. So, what is the purpose of this relational operators? Relational operators are used for specifying the relation between two operands. Okay. So, how it works? What are the relational operators we have? Let's have a look. First one is greater than sign and it is used to check one value is greater than other value or not. Okay. Next one is greater than equals to. Here also we are checking A is greater than or equals to B or not. Next one is less than equals to. Here we are checking value of A is less than or equals to value of B or not. Next one is less than. Here we are checking A is less than B or not. Now coming to the next one which is a new one equals to equals to. It is popularly called equals to equals to. The purpose of this operator is to check the value of a and the value of b are equal or not. Okay. Same way the next one is not equal to. It is popularly called not equal to. And here we can check if the value of a and the value of b are not equal. Okay. So, these are the popular relational operator operators used in Java. Okay. So, Rest of the operators we will learn in our next video. So, thank you class. Have a good day and subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the bell icon for the notifications. Thank you.